Hello viewers, welcome to AudioViz 360. Today I have this Saregama Karwa brand new portable speaker. So you can see this is Saregama Karwa here. All right, without wasting any time, let's start tearing this down. So this is a brand new Saregama Karwa. So to tear this down, we have to take out the six screws, which I will show you. It is behind this place. It is closed with some rubber padding here. So to take that out, I'm going to just taking this rubber out, coming closer here. So this is a rubber padding here. So I'm going to take out all these paddings. Two. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. And this is the fifth one. And this is the last one. Sixth one. And now you can see the holes to take out the six screws here. So I'm taking out the screws. Let's see what is there inside this Saragama Karma. This is actually a brand new piece. I'm just taking this out to see what is there inside. After seeing this, let's close this. This is the sixth screw. So all right, all the six screws are removed. Now it's time to slightly pull out this one. So by pulling this out, it will come. So this is the internal loop. Before showing you, I'm going to take the battery connection here. So now it is easy to see. So this is the internal look of the Saregama Karwa. So here you can see, this is the main control where you can turn on and turn off. And the volume control is here, the small motherboards, small control boards, sorry. So here you can access this volume control and this is a headphone jack so there are two separate small boards to control volume control there is one board and the headphone socket there is one more board so this is the headphone out so this is the one more control board which is to turn on and turn off so the all three will go to this main motherboard here as you can see this is the main motherboard and this is the place where the 5000 song is loaded. Let me show you by closing up. So there is one memory card here which stores all 5000 vintage Bollywood songs. So as you can see this cable goes to this motherboard. All the cables goes to this main motherboard and this is the speaker where the housing is there. This part is enclosed here so that the base will come. This is the base radiator. This is the very good base radiator here. And let's see what is there inside this blue case here housing and there is one more control board here you can see this is to access Saregama 5000 vintage Bollywood songs and you can use through USB FM and Bluetooth all these controls there is one small board here control board which again goes through the main mother goes to main motherboard using this cable all right now let's see what is there in the behind the speaker so this is the one more cable which is used to charge the speaker here and also you can play back using this USB this USB and there is one more control here to reset the speaker here if you, small tiny control so all these three functionalities is used using this cable and there is one more thing this is the battery let's see the capacity of the battery here so this is 3.7 volt battery which is of 14 watt hour let's take out that and see what is there written after that we will open the speaker housing to see what is the speaker behind that blue color housing so i have taken this so this is the battery coming closer this is 2200 mAh battery which is written here 2200 mAh battery 3.7 volt to 4.7 volt is the full voltage after charging this is before voltage before charging 3.7 volt lithium ion battery this is made in china and the model number is r-4102752 so this is a single 2200 mAh battery all right now let's see let's put this battery here back to the case it's only two screws here Right, the battery is fixed to this place 
now it's time to take out this case and see what is there behind this blue housing this has made to block the air within this cavi cap uh, ca cavity so that the base will come the air will not leak that is the purpose of this housing otherwise if you don't have this the base will not come here in the speaker there are totally six screws for this all right now let's try by pulling this out i think this we have to remove this is not removed yet the sixth one last screw all right so i am taking this out here so this is the case here you can see this is the base radiator this has four screws here and this is the a place holder to place this speaker here all right now this is pretty decent size speaker you can see this is the driver coming closer here so very beautiful driver here surrounded with this white plastic and let's take out this sticker to see what is the wattage here so you can see 4 ohms 5 watts rms you can see 4 ohms 5 watts rms that means this has two 4 ohms 5 watts rms that total wattage of the speaker is 10 watts rms and the size of the driver is let's measure this using the scale so this is around 1.7 1.5678910 so 1 inch 1 inches 1.10 inches is the diameter of the speaker this is not even 2 uh, inches the size is exactly almost 1.75 inches so exactly it is around 1.75 or 1.8 inches so this is the driver and you can see this is the case which holds the speaker to its position and this blocks the air so this part is very important because here it places in its exact position in this housing so it is made for this placement so i'm not going to take out this because these are both same speakers stereo so i'm just placing this speaker here all right so before closing this housing let's see the size of the magnet here so this is also around 2 inches exactly so size of the magnet is also heavy this produces very nice sound all right now it's time to put back this housing blue housing and we'll close the speaker so before putting this housing back you make please make sure that this rubber should come here in this place otherwise air leakage will happen and the sound will be distorted so now it is placed properly now it's easy to put this back here in the place make sure any cables which is blocking the place should take out all right now now it's time to put the screws back here now that's it and finally this is the small copper cable here this is the fm antenna which receives the signal very stronger so you can see this cable directly goes here to this point and to this antenna this is the main antenna which receives the signal fm signal so without this small copper wire you will not get any fm signal all right now it's time to put this battery connection here and we'll close the speaker here and that's it and we have to rotate this now it is back to its place now it's easy to put this six screws back
all right now i am putting this back the small rubbers silicone rubbers which closes this hole and looks pretty decent after covering this hole and this is in the same color so you cannot able to notice when you see for the first time all right now this is ready it is packed you can see it will start working again because all right thanks for watching the video if you like the video please do like share subscribe to audio wish 360 and hit that notification bell icon and write comment in the comment section below thanks for watching bye